everybody and welcome on today's video how this uh, five needle pine went into uh, this spot is a whole story and I uh, well I'm going to try to eat this as well as I can because I made a complete mess of my videos uh, lately um, so uh, I can show you how it looked um, when I just bought it. Uh, I bought it at Nolanders and you have some footage here of uh, the tree in the pot. And then of course I'll show you how I did the root work. And that will be, uh, that will be it and that will bring us to this very uh, moment where we are now. So I bare rooted this pine which is uh, something that you don't really want to do every time but it's the first time that I really uh, am going to style this tree and I want this tree to grow well, I want this tree to be styled correctly so I think that bare rooting it is a important thing now so I'm going to try to show you what I have here I have a, well, a, a good root base here, it's a quite thick thing, it's two or three times my thumb, so that's great. Then there is a very powerful root here, which I think I cannot uh, lose. Um, a few couple, a couple of roots here, high up, and then on the other side there's this big tap root that I also cannot cut off. A few little roots. This is a fused root on top of this one. This is a root growing straight up that I might lose. And then we're back um, with, see it's a, it's a real mess. This root that I don't like, but that does not have a whole lot of feeder roots. You see, if I separate it, it's just a few things. So, I'm gonna take some decisions here. So let's do that. So this big root with not a whole lot on it, I'm gonna lose it. See, that's not a whole lot. Okay, so I can surely do that. Now, I think that the nicest base will be this. And also, if I follow the trunk line, you see we have a nice curve here. I'm going to try to put that in the light. Nice curve here. And then they shopped the, the tree here. And this could be the continuation of the new trunk line. So that's, that would be a very good root base. But I want a wide root base, so I'm going to get rid of that and that. So let's see how much I removed there. Well, that seems reasonable. And now I think that these two big roots, I'm going to try to have it on camera, it's a little stressy. These two big roots will be the base of the tree and so I don't think that I'm going to need all the rest here. So I'll remove this up to there. I don't think that I'm going to need it at all but I need to have a better look. Yeah, I'm going to remove it. Now I see that I have a few small roots here that I probably can position a little more radially. There's a few couple of fine ones that I probably can rearrange. So I'm going to try to untangle these ones, get this nice and flat. Okay. 
Okay, so this is a nice little route. This is also a good route. So I'm just untangling all that stuff. There's a small one here. I'm not sure where it's coming from, but I'm going to try to save it. Yep. So this will be the front. There's a couple of small roots here that are not really great, but that I, I can probably put somewhere here in the front. So that at least they are radial. Maybe I just put a piece of raffia over them. So there's a little root here, way too high. It's not gonna be of any importance. Okay, so there's this big crossing root here at the back. And there I need to see. No, you see it's growing straight up. So that's really not good. There's still a piece attached here. So I'll cut that off. There's a couple of smaller ones. And then there's this sticking up root, which is not great either. So also going to try to untangle that. So I'm going to shut down the camera because this is getting crazy. But the, and the only thing that I wanted to show is that, well, it's the first time, so I'm going a little bit wild on these routes, but I think that's the only possibility to have a decent root base on this tree, and on any tree. And by doing that, probably going to lose a couple of roots, but if you don't do it, your tree will never be a good tree. So this is one of my biggest pots and lo and behold I prepared some wires to tie this down. And this is obviously substrate. And now, well, here comes the interesting parts. The front should be somewhere here. And I will now slowly... So this is the front. It's got a nice curve. And I will now try to slowly arrange all the roots that I want to keep. And I will spare you this, because it's going to take a whole lot of time. And put them in the pot, tie this thing down, and that's going to be it, but it's going to take a whole lot of time. I will have to maneuver some of these roots, etc. So I now separated a front part of the roots and a back part. And I'm going to try to arrange these roots now radially. This might be difficult here to get this one to stay where I want it. I will of course not cut any roots, just arranging them. This is stressy. It's stressing up because 
uh, well because I have don't have a whole lot of experience with spines that's one thing but also because I think that this tree has nice potential and I don't want to ruin it so I think in the back I'm I'm good I'm going to put some substrate under it to support it a little okay so you don't see a whole lot there do you I'm trying to change the, the light a little bit and I don't I'm not wearing my microphone uh, because it's with a wire and that's not what I need now so the sound might be a little bad too so now that's just this root if I could get this root a little more to this side that would be absolutely great so how can I do that well there's a big root here with a hook maybe I can push that with a piece of bamboo I don't know let me see so this is just another experiment I'm not sure if this is a good idea but I'm going to take these roots so that they can become surface roots try to put my piece of bamboo here and then see if I can block this and push this one root to the side I probably can but my piece of bamboo is a tad too long so now this is a whole lot better so I like that and then another thing there's this root here which I would like to have closer to the to the trunk because this way it can fuse oh man it's falling over I need something here okay so little piece of raffia So when this root fuses with the trunk, and it will in time, this will only speed up the process because it's closer. It will provide a little bit of a side root too. So I need to get some soil in now. So the tilt and the angle is not perfect but I mean in these circumstances there's only so much you can do so no cutting of the roots trying to get all the roots tuck them in and you see there's a few black roots here so it means that this tree was not that happy in that soil so it's a good thing that it's out now so all the roots will be used except for the few ones that I did cut off but that's not a lot and positioning them is essential just pulling on them you see so they are as nice as I ever can put them in so don't think that I'm going to use that 
wire that I prepared. Don't think it's gonna be a big help, but okay. I'd rather put a whole lot of stones on top of this. I'll just pull them out. So crossing roots here. But that's okay. I mean the next tree pot will be a question of removing what is circling. That's not going to be for the coming year, I think. All right, well, look at that root base. That's nice. And then we have the top right where we want it. So now I'm going to try to do something about the tilt. And when I get that right, and I will get it right because it's just a question of adjusting the soil levels so I'll be back when that's done so this is the front of the tree and these two uh, gigantic rocks is are holding the tree where it should be so you see we have a nice spread here I'm gonna put that rock back and there's just one thing that I want to do now uh, and that's in the top so I still have this thing hanging here. I don't know why I didn't remove that before because it's terribly ugly. So um, if I push back this branch a little, you can now see that there has been a big uh, chop here. And of course I, I need to get this a little cleaner. So I also intend to keep this branch as a possible back branch. So I'm going to remove this knob here and try to make the healing start so that I can bend this later on, which I think should be possible. And that should give you a good look on the work to come. So I'm going to slowly remove all that stuff here. Feels nice this uh, five needle pine. It's not not really prickly. So this will be somewhere in the front here. Well, not really, but it will be the most frontal part. So I'm going to try to get this portion as clean as I can. Make sure that this heals over well. And then maybe next year, if I see that this already formed some callus, I can then try to show you tackle this portion which it should always also be removed a little more but yeah I'd like to have some good sap flowing so some wound paste so that's all that I want to do at this uh, with this tree at this moment um, like I already said, I am absolutely no expert on pines. I don't know a lot about it. I well, I like them, and I think that if you do bonsai well, a pine should be in your collection. I now have three. I have uh, that Mugo, that Scots pine, and then this one. So yeah, um, yeah. Well, anyway, I hope that my root work was okay. I didn't uh, do too much uh, well I, do, I did a whole lot on the roots but I didn't cut too much um, I'm not going to go all Nigel Saunders on this pine that cost me 35 bucks so that would be stupid 
especially because I think it's already a nice pine. It has a good potential. So, um, hey Nigel, I hope your pines, especially your Mugo, is doing well. Was a little bit afraid when I saw you doing that, but okay, well, yeah. You manage some things that some of us don't manage. Anyway, so um, probably if I see that this grows well, that the candles are extending, that nothing is getting brown, um, I'll try to have a first idea of how this tree should evolve, maybe do a first branch selection, because what I also want to do is make sure that I don't have these typical uh, pine whirls, you know. So you see, this is the main branch. We have one, two, three big branches and then that little one here in the back that makes four. If I don't do anything there it's gonna become a big lump of wood there and it's not good. So I'll probably first watch for a couple of months then maybe do a first bending of this top maybe choose one of these as a new top I don't know I'm absolutely not sure I will not pinch any candles because that's not a good idea. I've uh, heard Ryan Neal's explanations on uh, pines and if you want back budding, you don't want to uh, prune your candles. What you want to do is make your candles extend so that the tree regains vigor and once the new candles extend you cut back when they've hardened off and that's what's going to make new buds open so that you can put the foliage back to the center of the tree. So there are a lot of different techniques obviously with pines um, and uh, it all depends what you want to achieve and in what stage your tree is in. So enough talking, that's going to be it. Um, hope to see you with this tree in a couple of months. That means that everything went well. So thank you for watching and see you next time.